Today it's the big one, Highway Star. Okay, so I've had a lot of requests and I'm still here and I thought I would try Highway Star for you. This is my take on Highway Star. There are bits that are right, more right bits than wrong bits. There will be bits I've interpreted differently. And importantly, over the years, bits I've just played differently because it's simpler and it gets the message across maybe a little bit differently or the way I want to do it live. But what I thought I would do is go through with this little a clunky old camera here, hello, and show you uh, how I play it at least. Remember the way that you play it, the way that you interpret it isn't wrong if that's the way you want to play it, okay? So with that in mind, let's have a look at what we're going to do today. So first of all, some bits of housekeeping. Uh, I've got my Leslie 122 spinning around there. You may not end up hearing that because I've also got behind your camera a uh, little Marshall combo, uh, Origins Studio combo which I use for my uh, Deep Purple Tribute Band. And uh, that gives quite a nice, uh, well, quite a nice plexi sound. You know, uh, uh, we're looking at sort of main Japan, that kind of sound. That's what I'm hoping to get out of that one. Load of reverb on the studio uh, on Machine Head, and that's kind of where, where that sound came from. What I thought I'd do then is just piece together uh, a few bits uh, if, you, if you haven't already got them together so that you understand uh, where how the song is uh, formed. I might be a bit clunky because I'm going to work around this thing here but this is the best way for you to see what's going on I think. And then uh, I'll have a little bash at how I do the solo. Uh, wish me luck. And then uh, we'll, we'll have a chat at the end. How does that sound? Beautiful. Okay, fair enough. Right, here we go. So we've got a couple of things we could talk about. We could talk, we could talk about the, uh, the main Japan intro. Uh, a bit better than that. That one, which is quite nice. So we start the show like that. We don't do the full length version because uh, what we're trying to get is for people to go, oh yeah, yeah, I, know, I remember that bit. That's the, that's the tune-up bit from... Uh, uh, from Main Japan, and actually, if you listen to the Main Japan album, that theme comes across a few times actually uh, in different songs throughout the night and the night. So it's obviously something that John had sort of stuck in his his mind. <clears throat> okay, so if you want to know this bit, it's gonna be a long day, isn't it? If we're gonna go through this bit, but why not? You know, uh, it's, it's going up a G major, and then down the C major. Then the G and the F inversion. And this is where I do something very slightly different. I go, I cut a bit out. So that's uh, the short version of the intro. There's a little bit more widdly going on, to be honest, but that's my short version. Uh, organ sound, uh, he's backed off at that point. I'm not quite sure if he's on. It's probably up here and going to pull these out later. I'm not sure. Let's try it. Yeah, it could be like that. You'll see I, I played that slightly wrong because I couldn't see my fingers because the screen was in the way. But did you did you hear how the overdrive was coming up and on? And that gets me into the next bit. Quick conversation on draw bars here. It's very tempting to be all out. I think that's a bit too bright. Seems about right. Maybe sometimes this little fella could uh, be a problem. 
C3s are all different. I mean, they're all different. Mine's are quite a dark one. So sometimes I have slightly different settings to uh, maybe how John had them, uh, but in order to try and get the same type of sound. So this one's the, this one's the one to watch out for. Play it by ear a little bit. And this one sometimes is pushed in a little bit so that the top bits don't poke out so much. Not the point. Right, so the the point is we're, we're now going, we've done our lovely little intro and we've done the Drop those in so you can hear this better. Now I am playing the fourth, the D and the G that John loved to play, putting an octave in as well. Can you feel me accent in the one as well? Because that backbeat comes in, doesn't it? It feeds in live at least because he's on the he's on the snare, but fourths again, F and G pivoting off the D. See how easy it is when you're doing that? That movement from here. And then to do a C, all you need to do is do that. See that? basically just riffing around on that it's never the same it's always the same on the album of course but it's never the same live basically the the start of that in 16 then there's a CB flat I go up here the first half of the verse you notice it's not straight 16s everyone I've seen plays it just keeps chugging along and it isn't that it's okay so you're still on that G four five thing one on the left hand may very well have done that on the turnaround I'm trying to get a bit more brightness out of there to the F same rhythm again little rundown semitones R sixteens then. So we got the How's that sound? Sound about right? So fundamentally we're going from a G to an F to a D. And then there's the I love it, I, I leave it there. And that's what you're basically doing there, C major to A minor. Now I do it a little bit differently and I don't know if the uh, if I'm going to kill the camera but I go <coughs> So I see I'm bouncing A 
bit of showmanship, I suppose, but also I quite like the the rhythm it creates. <laughs> But essentially, E major, A minor. Okay, how's that feel? Yeah, so. So let's get the rhythm right. Hold tight. The inversions are kind of kind of important because later on it goes higher. You'll be able to listen to the record and you'll hear when that A is right up there. But it's C D C D. F G A. Okay, and then back to that C, B flat. Back into another verse. Okay, so those those are your verses, uh, pretty much covered. Later on, the uh, that bit, the C D bit. Is yeah, that inversions just made it. Just increase it a little bit. Okay, so um, organ solo at the end, shall we? Let's just get that out of the way. Let's get just put that in. So the uh, guitar solo under the guitar solo. <coughs> And the D, so you're doing the rhythm on the D. Just lock into your drummer, whatever your drummer's doing, lock into it. If he's playing it right, great. If he's not playing it right, still lock into the drummer or else you'll end up sounding wrong. Bass is from D. A. Do do do. first bit and then what I do because uh, I'm trying to sort of homage John Lord when he's played this in many different versions and also it goes to a it goes to a chord I switch I flick over on an a B to the Leslie I take I go off the Marshall stationery onto the Leslie to do the So that's what's going on under the guitar chords. D minor. G minor to C minor. Sorry, C major. Yeah. Now. You can carry on through the doodly 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 or you can play it. Which is what I do. So I, I, I join up with the guitar player and we, we, did, we go through that bit. It's all, it's all uh, one, three, five triad, right? To D minor. G minor, one, three, five. C major. So we're just following those chords. One of those rare moments it's more difficult on the guitar than it is on the keyboard. 
and then I picked up somewhere live Richie Blackmore do, giving it the do. So it's just, I'm just going down in semitones as uh, rough as I can. Like that, and that sounds quite nice. And at the end, you, you, it's twice, isn't it? Find it wrong slightly at the end, I think, there, but it doesn't matter. I'm just. Nope. There it is, that one. Yeah, so. waiting around a bit aren't you waiting around for the next after the solo depends what your guitar player is going to do if he's going to do a Richie then you could be waiting a while or whatever there are some smashes and some bits and bobs that, that get done there because you, you're hanging on an A so you can do wait for that drum trick that drum uh, fill Make sure your drummer plays it, because then you know where you are. Otherwise, you'll just have to catch it. And you, you're back into... Same key, another verse, another chorus. Bit at the end. Is he all right? Hold tight, I'm a highway star. And there's a bit of a... Uh, the, I think there were some inversions going on. See what I did there. So I started on. Uh, where did I start there? I think on that G, uh, that C with a G bass. We've done that bit before, but then we can go from that A. See that A there to the next C in the next inversion. And guess what? Hold that A and let Richie do what he likes and that lovely Rick and Backer bass is do 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 and the, and the band's kind of falling apart a little bit but John's just just holding that. Was that a bit too quick? Sorry. Um, so we're going to go C, D, C, D, C, D, F, G, A. And we're going to do it with this inversion. Then... Yeah, and now we're going to go, uh... oops, sorry. <laughs> then if we've got a reverb tank in the top of the C3, you're going to lift it up and smash it. So it gives it that horrible noise at the end of the track, which I don't have a reverb tank in this one. Okay. If you did anything, anything broken down a little bit there, just just let me know. I'll go through. I'll go through it with you. It's absolutely. It's, it's cool. Let's have a look at the solo. Right. How are we going to do this? Right. There's a few ways to do it. Uh, it starts off with that sort of um, that rising note. I've seen people do this. And it's all right. Uh, I've seen. Some significant people do that, it's all right. Um, there's a school of thought that it's uh, one of the piano uh, practices, which is with this chromatic thing. So, but I don't think it, I don't think it is. I don't think it is. It might be. Um, what I play is just dirty semitones. A load of overdrive. to that A. I can tend to start off in a sort of half time you feel then speed up a little bit later on. You can do that. Song, sorry. It's 
long as you get to that A, I reckon you're going to be all right. Uh... <laughs> So, you know, see which works best for you whilst you're learning it is absolutely fine, isn't it? Solo, right, this is how I play it, <laughs> okay? There are a few bits that I'm not playing exactly right and there are far better players, but let's, we, let's talk about the feel, right? Well, that's what I want to get, I want to get the feel. Camera's in the way, so, you know. So that one, so it's a... How we do? How we do that one? Tap your foot. Feel the feel that shuffle again. You know the bounce. Or you know, smack your fatters. Feel how it comes, pushes and pulls. That's the that's the first bit. It's a weird one that is, and it took me a while to to get that how I play it because it's. Uh, it's going the other way around, two comes down and then comes up again. Yeah? Quite fast as well, isn't it? And you have to change the direction of your fingers. And there's that, and he does that again before he goes into the, the, the crazy bit, right? So, oops. So there's, there's a longer note that gets him into, all right. Much talk about this. There's lots of <laughs> lots of ways I see people do it, but essentially, let's look at the chord. A minor. Keep everything the same and flatten the A. G minor. D major. Okay. It's beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. But. And there's and there's a bit of a left hand sometimes. I'm not playing it live, if I'm honest. I'll do a bit of a bass maybe, but so it's get it right, shall we? point I thought there was an octave in it. I don't think there is. I don't think there is. Nah, there's not. And there's ups. And there's downs. But I think it's both, starting from the bottom. If your hand hurts when you're playing it, it will. I can't. <laughs> it's the first song I play with the with my purple tribute, and I can still feel it in my hand on the third track. You know. Okay, so after we've done that, look. So. So we're going to go more, more triplety now, aren't we? And we're going in an F inversion. F major. And you see there's some little frilly bits in there. And that's the bit that people interpret differently. So here we're going to D minor. Yeah. Okay. 
lots of interpretation in there. Um, you probably only played it the one wave once, if I'm honest with you. <laughs> Find your best way, find the best way for you there. I don't think anyone's going to tell you off for playing it slightly differently. I mean, it was only played that way once ever. So find your best way. As long as you get to. All right, so we're back on that kind of sound that we had up here. <laughs> Not the F, so where we get to uh... Toe. Yeah. And then we're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna plot this harmonic minor. And you know it's the harmonic minor off the A really, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And you're on an A, but it's gonna go D-ish, isn't it? So And then a uh, the bit of a blag here. As long as everyone hears the harmonic minor, you're alright. showed you actually I thought it might be the end of the solo I'm not sure if it's part of the song or the end of the solo but if we're all right with that bit then it just does that bit yeah so it's going F G F D up the pentatonic from the from the C on the record there's that da -da 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 -da. Uh, live he does uh, he does something slightly different which I prefer to get a bit more to it so um, sometimes I don't even play the because I don't think he played it on main Japan I have to have a listen I think he let the band come up and then he came in with but he did play it down, so I'll just do a... Hard to play slowly, so I apologise. Oh, yeah. Down, in. Down the pentatonic with the blue note in it, basically, from the D. Okay, so it's uh, no blue note. Back off the volume, so the drive goes. And then back on again, so as that note's dying away. Come back in, you're in. Whistle stop tour. I hope it was okay. Hope it wasn't too fast. I hope it, you got everything out of it you needed. You can pause and rewind and all those things. If there's anything that you're unsure about, drop me a line. I've got one more. I still need to uh, respond to. Drop me a line, and I will. I'll show you how I how I play it. People will play it differently. People will play it better. But this is how I play it. The thing is the groove. Get the groove and get the shuffle. You get that, you're going to sound better than someone who's reading the notes and playing the notes perfectly, but not understanding how the rhythm's working. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Apologies for not being around last week. I was in the studio with ATAC working on the new album, which is coming on really well, I have to say. We've got about 10 songs in the bag now. That will be released sometime this year. I would probably say late spring, early summer. Late spring, I hope. And we'll be on tour in England at some really nice festivals over the summer as well. 
Okay, if you like that, please let me know. If you didn't like that, please let me know. There's no wrong answers. Like and subscribe, it really does help me, and I'll see you soon. Thank you very much.